So this is going to be homemade healthy miso soup. Yeah. To do it you need some seaweed from um, Chinatown or if, if a supermarket sells it you might find it there. You'll need some egg noodles, you'll need some fermented um, miso paste and you'll need an egg and then uh, you'll need either just, you can either just use water or you could use chicken stock if you wanted to. So you'd fill this up with water, bring it to the boil, add one to two teaspoons of miso paste, bring that back to the boil. When it's hot, add the seaweed and egg noodles and cook them for six minutes. And then at the end, just beat an egg into the mixture, which will just add a bit of extra protein content in there. The whole thing should take about 10 minutes to make. A couple of simple and recovery-based, more comfort-based meals uh, are based around uh, egg-based penne or, or a wheat-free penne pa pasta or a whole wheat penne pasta. This one is spicy bacon and tomato and garlic sauce and you, you can have it with or without chilli depending. It's very easy to make as with all the recipes infuse the oil, olive oil with the uh, garlic and the spices then uh, brown the meat off then add the liquid ingredients and, and cook until it's the desired consistency. And this is a, a classic uh, uh, comfort dish, spicy tuna pasta. Okay, so again, you crisp up the tuna, the garlic, chili is optional, and then you serve it with um, any type of pasta and with pesto and then herbs and spices on top. So this is a, a 3B and chestnut salad, an absolute orgy of flavour in there. So we've got cannellini beans with uh, white uh, giant butter beans and the favourite kidney beans, uh, really high in protein. Um, good combination of protein and carbohydrate and those three beans are also all going to combine to, to give a nice complete amino acid profile. Uh, made a nice uh, French style dressing um, halfway in between a vinaigrette but also uh, put some tomato in there to make it a little bit more tangy and sweet. So uh, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, Dijon mustard, but then whacked in some tomato puree. Got a really nice sweet tomato flavour and a really nice glossy texture to that. So there we go, the uh, three bean and chestnut salad. Chestnuts in there this time of year, nice and warming. Uh, just had another source of carbohydrate. Lovely.